It takes some work to build a teepee, but organizers with the Native American Heritage Area of the Kapona Festival say it's worth it. Visitors to City Island can experience a powwow or see traditional dancers or flint napping. This island traditionally was a summer camp for like um, over five tribes, mm. the Iroquois and um, Shawnee and uh, the Shawnee Indians actually saved John Harris, who founded Harrisburg. Visitors to City Island and Riverfront Park this weekend can also expect to see a multicultural celebration, plenty of food trucks and live music, as well as artists selling their goods. There are also new events this year, including a giant puppet parade on Saturday. When we open our doors for everyone to see the best of Harrisburg, and that is our diversity. Because another fireworks show was derailed on July 4th because of arrests and concerns about young people with guns, the city says there are not going to be fireworks at this year's Capona Festival, and police will be keeping a close eye on the crowd. We have not had any security issues at, during the daytime of these events, and we don't plan on starting that now. And while the lack of fireworks may be disappointing to some, there is still plenty to be entertained. I think it'll still be good. For a list of events and information on parking and road closures at Capona, head to our website, WGAL.com. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, News 8.